Welcome to Bears and Excel. Today is Thursday, January 31st, and this is a quick hit on precious metals. Uh, starting off with SLV. So last night I was saying I uh, was not overly concerned about the big move up, kind of ridiculous move up, on silver, and that it was, uh, you know, poor, bad, etc. Um, today we did get a really nice move down, and once again, I just think it's hilarious that uh, that line that I eyeballed is exactly where it closed, exactly where it closed, and that's, uh, uh, you know, this has been doing all kinds of things with it, uh, you know, starting off from it and dropping, uh, going up and kissing it, now uh, stopping right on top of it, uh, it it's just funny to me. Anyways, I also said last night that getting back inside of the descending channel was really important. And that is exactly what happened. Uh, it was bought up pretty good. Uh, I certainly would be much happier if it had broke uh, 30 and, uh, and closed below it. But uh, that simply isn't what happened. Um, what else do we have to look at? Well, we now have the MACD histogram ticking down once again. The MACD going sideways down on the RSI, down on the CCI. The stochastics are trying to uh, figure out what to do with themselves. And the 14-day RSI moving average seems to be getting to a spot where a uh, turn would be uh, more likely. So all in all, the daily on silver, definitely bearish. Absolutely. Uh, what do we need to see from this point? What we really need to see is 30 taken out. And uh, I think that it has a fantastic uh, odds of that happening over the next couple of days. But um, actually, we do need to see it. But uh, today, nothing to sneeze at. And definitely a positive uh, thing for the silver bears. Moving on to GLD. Yeah, what do we have here? Well, we closed right at maybe a tad below the 200-day moving average. Fantastic. Uh, not as decisive as I would like, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, very nice move down after going into the long-term moving average bar. I said last night, should have problems with this, and it, you know it was kicked out yesterday, and uh, just uh, fallen. Very very nice. Uh, very similar to silver, except it is a little more bearish. Instead of going sideways, we have the MACD histogram taking. I'm sorry, the MACD itself taking down, not going sideways. Everything else relatively is the same. We're losing a little more angle on the 14-day RSI moving average than we are in silver. So I like all of this. This is all good. We just need a, a, a better low. And, uh, you know, we beat this low right here, and we're right into that rising trend line. So do I think that it can take it in one go? I would think not. But uh, if it does, whoo, massively bearish, massively. So um, we'll be waiting to see if that happens. But uh, overall, a very, very nice showing. And GDX to round out the quick hit. Said last night, GDX was the worst of the three, and that it should pull, pull everything down with it. And what do we have today? We have a, uh, trying a retest of the floor, backing away from it slightly, and uh, not very convincingly. This looks, uh, this looks bad. Um, Yes, we're building the bottoming area in the heat map, but we have no uptick. And if we break that floor, watch out. 14 day RSI moving average still moving down. Stochastics holding low. RSI going down. CCI going down. MACD histogram trying to go down. MACD going down. Awful. Break that floor and watch the metals just uh, fall apart. So there it is. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.